Hey, welcome or welcome back to Her Way. And in today's video, we are talking about what realistically fits inside a Chanel wallet on chain or a wok. So if you're interested in hearing my three tips on how you can fit your basics, as well as use creative and unique ways to create some more space in your wok, then let's get into it. This is my Chanel wallet on chain in the classic style. I did an unboxing of this where I talk a little bit about the pros and cons of buying a Chanel wallet on chain, why I hesitated for so long before purchasing one, as well as whether or not it is something that you need to include in your collection, taking into consideration the price point and what it is. I would definitely encourage you to check out that video. Think of it sort of like a part one to this video and I'll leave the link up top here as well as in the description box below. So here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's pretty thin. The base right here is tucked in. Now, before we get into what we can pack into our wallet on chain, my first tip is to create space in your walk before you even get into it. And the way that you can do that is using a base shaper. Now what a base shaper is, it's essentially a hard material, something like cardboard that has ends right here that reinforce the sides of this bag. And what that essentially does is that it helps to open up your wallet on chain. So it helps to flatten the base right over here, giving you the full length and capacity of your bag. And what's really important about that is that I and a lot of people use our wallet on chains like mini bags, right? Because of course there are card slots in here. You can use this as a, as just a simple wallet on chain, but why not utilize all of the space that's in here and use it as a mini bag? And your base shaper really allows you to do that. Now I made mine actually myself. I found the dimensions online. I had some cardboard, I had some black masking tape and I was really able to kind of put this together pretty easily. It did not take me long at all. If you would rather just purchase one and not waste your time creating one, you can definitely buy these from some Etsy shop owners, some small businesses that make them. So I will leave those links in the description box below. All right, so here I have my basics laid out in front of me. Now, what I'm defining basics as are the core items that you cannot leave your house without, regardless of what other extra items you like to bring with you. These are the items that you need absolutely with you when you are heading out the door. So that includes, of course, your phone. Now I'm filming with my phone, so this is just my phone case, your house keys or your car keys, and I have mine here, and this is my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. Of course, any cash or credit cards, I'm not going to obviously show my credit cards on camera, but I am using these little card inserts that came with my walk, your mask, whether you choose to wear one or carry one around with you, and then of course, some hand sanitizer. And this one is from Bath & Body Works. So now let's start adding our basics into our walk. And I've already gone ahead and started by putting in my cards, which leads me into tip number two, and that is you Utilize all of the slots, compartments, and pockets that come with your wallet on chain. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, that just seems like obvious, but you'll be surprised at how many people actually don't utilize the actual card slots in their wallet on chain because they're either too lazy to switch things in and out of, they just can't be bothered, they're just more used to using maybe their other card holders and things like that. Now, I can, I'll show you in a bit how you can kind of fit a card holder in here, but I think it's really important because you have so limited space that you're working with already that you should be using the compartments and for instance, the card slots that come in here. Now, the wallet on chain comes with six card slots, three on this side and three on this side. And I find that it is the perfect amount to be able to fit your basics. So a couple of credit cards, your health insurance cards, and then maybe one or two of your most used reward cards. If for whatever reason you absolutely need to use an external card holder or you just have a lot of extra cards, you can definitely use this little zippered compartment slot right here to put in some extra cards if you want. But if you want to use an actual card holder, then I would recommend something like this. 
uh, which is just a simple slim card holder. This one is from the brand Shinola. They are a luxury leather and watch company based here in the United States. I love their leather. I wish you guys could feel this. I mean, this is like, honestly, it's softer than lambskin. Like that's how beautiful and just like luxurious their leather is. And I've had mine for quite a number of years. Oh, that's just my SA's card in there. Just ignore that. And so you can easily fit a couple of cards in here and then use that as your card holder. I do have a couple of cards in here. They're kind of tucked in so you can't see them. So if you have cards that you do want to use with a card holder, you absolutely can. But my recommendation is definitely use the slots, the compartments, all of the pockets that already come with your wallet on chain because that's what they're there for. So let's go ahead and say, let's add in our card holder and you can see I tucked it in right over there. Unfortunately, it's maroon just like the inner lining of it. So I hope you can see that right there. The next thing we want to add in, of course, is our phone. And so I like to keep my phone right back here towards where the card slot is. I feel like because the back is already rigid, I can kind of keep that here. But in the front, as you add more items in, it starts to bulk up, right? And when you put something that's essentially like a brick right in front, it does restrict a little bit of the opening. So I like to just keep my phone in the back. And as you can see, it fits in really easily with the card slot. And of course, I am using my wallet on chain with my base shaper in here. You can fit all of these basics in without a base shaper, but for the purpose purposes of this video, everything will be using a base shaper. The next thing you want to add in are your keys. And so here are my keys, my house keys and my car keys are in here. Now this is pretty bulky, right? It's a pretty big item when you're comparing it to the wallet on chain, but you can fit it in there. You can fit it in like there. And as you can see, oops, it kind of it does kind of come up from the lip a little bit, but you will, you'll still be able to close it a little bit forcefully, but you'll be able to close it. I personally like to have this laying horizontally. So I will probably put that right in front of the card holder. There we go. We have a phone, we have our card holder, we have our keys. Next thing we wanna of course include will be our hand sanitizer. And because we have our base shaper in there, you see how it kind of creates that just little easy pocket for us. We can just drop that right in. And then I can also throw in my mask right over here. And then last but not least, our cash. And I like to use this zippered compartment for my cash if I'm carrying any cash with me. And I have some cash with me. some change with me and there you go we have all of our basic necessities the things that you need as you're heading out the door right in here and let's do the close test and it closes and again as you can see with the base shaper it helps to maintain the shape of the bag without looking too bulky or too out of shape and everything fits in really nicely. Now that we have our basics in, let's say you wanna add in a couple of more items just to see what additional must-haves that you can fit in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my mask because I would be wearing this. So I'm just gonna take that out and put that off to the side. So as you can see, I have this sort of little opening spot right here. So for that, I'll go ahead and add in a lip product. This is my Dior Lip Glow. I love this. This is really the only lip balm that I use. It's so moisturizing and beautiful. It has a little hint of color. This one I believe is rosewood. It's it's so beautiful. So I'll go ahead and tuck that in right over there. If I maybe want to take some hand cream with me, I can. I am obsessed with this one from Le Occitane. I just love how moisturizing it is. And it's so super tiny, but it's actually perfect for this wallet on chain. And because it's such a great product, a little bit goes a long way. So I can easily sort of stuff that in right, not even stuff, just plop it in right there. And as you can see, do you see how organized it is and how I can just add things in right there and it I still have space I can still add in a couple of more items let's say I want to take in a mirror 
I have my Chanel mirror here. Let's see if that fits. Oh, and it does. It's a little bit of a tight fit. Let's see if it closes. Yep, it still closes. So I can add in a mirror. And then maybe the last thing I might want to take or one of the last few items that I might want to take in this main compartment might be my headphones. So I have the AirPods, not the AirPod Pros. Let's see if that fits in there. This might be a tight squeeze. Yeah, that might be a tight squeeze. But what I can also do is if I don't need my mirror, I can rearrange this a little bit. Put this right here. Let's move the hand sanitizer. Let's put that here. Let's put the hand sanitizer in the corner. And then I can put my lip balm right there and I can put the lotion right there. And let's see if that closes. And it does. So you might not be able to include the mirror, but you can include these other items and it has a really nice hand feel. I don't know if you guys are like this, but I just like when something just feels like, like a nice good chunk, right? Like a brick almost. So yeah, it just, it has a nice hand feel and I'm able to stuff everything in that I want. What I like to do is use this little compartment slip for extra items like an extra hair tie, some bobby pins, that goes in really easily and of course it doesn't take up any space for this pocket right over here if you remember from my unboxing you'll remember that this is not just the whole pocket this whole thing is a pocket it actually goes down through the back of the the flap so this might be a great place to put in if you have uh, cables or cords that you need to take with you for charging purposes you can easily just slip that back here And there you go. And as you can see, it doesn't really do anything in the back. It doesn't bulk it up weird or, you know, like pop out at, with an indention. It just fits right in there. And then I would probably keep this front flap right over here for any receipts or any loose paper or notes or anything like that I would drop in here. And then I can go ahead and just close that. And as you can see, it closes beautifully. And then right back here, we have our little Mona Lisa pocket. I would probably use this as like, if I were parking my car in a parking garage or a parking lot and I had like a little ticket stub, I would stick that in here. Um, but otherwise, this isn't really a place that you would wanna put things in because the pocket is super, super slim. And this is really just meant for little pieces of paper, little ticket stubs, things like that. So really, for what we can fit in here, as you can see, you can fit a whole lot in here. I mean. It's again, your basics plus a little bit extra. And if you're running out to the store, to go shopping, to go hang out with friends, grab a drink, what have you, this is the perfect bag for that. Not to mention if you're like sightseeing or if you're out traveling and this is a perfect little crossbody to take with you. It's not heavy and you're not tempted to put more things in here because again, it's just the basics that you need. So it fits perfectly. Now, while for some of you, this is perfect and you'll love the way that everything fits in here and the way that it looks, some of you might be looking at this and thinking, oh, there's a lot in there. Um, as you can kind of see, even though this is stuffed and even though it is closed, you can kind of see that there is a little bit of bulkiness that's happening right over here. The base shaper fits, just sort of stops right over there. And so where the base shaper isn't, you can see that there's that little bit of bulkiness that is happening right over there. And if you are in that category where <laughs> you don't want your bag to look that stuffed or you don't want it to look that bulky for whatever reason then my third tip is to use unique ways to actually create space by downsizing or rearranging how you use your things and let me show you what i mean as you can see in my wallet on chain i would say the number one thing that's causing the most bulkiness would be my keys so to fix that i will take out my keys and i will put them in one of two items 
items. You can either put them in a little pouch or what I like to do is I like to utilize my other SLGs that I might have sitting on the shelf that I maybe haven't touched. And this gives me an opportunity to use more of the items that are in my collection. Plus I have, an, I have a greater appreciation of the things that I already have because I'm getting some more use out of them and use out of them that is a little bit more than what I had originally intended to buy it for. So for example, I would use this and this is my Hermes Calvi or Calvi, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, card holder. And as you can see right here, it's literally a strip, a long strip of leather that's been folded over um, and sewn. And there is this palladium hardware right here that just easily snaps into place. Now I'm going to do a video actually on this, talking a little bit more about what, how you can use this card holder and actually how user friendly it is and kind of what the pros and cons are of this. But what you'll notice is that because it's just too big, pockets right here you can really use this as an extra little pouch to carry items so you can very easily throw in your car keys your home keys whatever else you might have that might fit in here and pop it into your bag and you'll notice that it does not take up the same amount of space as your a key holder did or you know if you have a bunch of keys on a key ring as as that takes up so it really does take up less space and then if i put in my lip balm right there and i close it you can see how the bulkiness has gone down a little bit it definitely feels lighter in my hand that's for sure and so it has, it definitely feels lighter. The bulkiness has gone down a little bit more. And when I open it up, you can see that I have a little bit more give right over here because again, my keys are not being taken up by my key holder. So that is it for what fits in my wallet on chain. Very realistically, I hope this gives you a lot of ideas on how you can use your own wallet on chain, or if you are on the fence about buying the wallet on chain, hopefully this gives you an idea on kind of what will actually fit versus what might fit in a smaller bag, a larger bag, etc. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Can you fit more in your wallet on chain? I'd love to know because obviously I could use any tips you have as well. And again, as always, thank you for taking the time out of your day to come hang out with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.